What's up, it's St. John. I'm in London for the fourth time in my life. I'm lying, I'll be here a lot this month. Like, I live here. You about to watch Media Spotlight UK. I'm gonna take my shirt off. I'm not taking my shirt. Ain't no girls, I'm not taking my shirt off. Right, here we are, finally with St. John. How are you, brother? I'm good, fam. How are you feeling? Very good, very good. You know what? It's, um, it's, a, it's a blessing that you're here. We actually saw you at the ENDS Festival. We didn't know you were on. We, we didn't oh, know who cool. you were. Mm-hmm. But we were waiting for Naz to come on, so we thought we'd go to the other stage. I was, was waiting for Naz to come on, too. Yeah. We were at the Foot Asylum <laughs> stage, and then you came on. Instantly, we saw your fashion sense was different. Your energy, the music just hit. We were just, like, blown away. And uh, Joel, who runs the Channel Media Spotlight UK, he took a video when you done a mosh pit. Oh, shoot, was that him? Yeah, and then you guys you reposted fan? it. You guys yeah. reposted it. This is how all this happened. That's cool. That was a cool video. That was crazy. How, how did you enjoy That was your first time performing in London? No, uh, was it no, 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 no. Not my first time in London. That's my first time like on the outskirts. Because uh, that's... Oh, well, Croydon is technically just outside, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've done... Uh, the first time I was here at the Camden Assembly. Okay. Yes. That's and a big venue. And then I did XOYO. Oh, legendary venue, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I did them six months apart, I believe. So I did Camden first, and six months later, I went back and did sold out X O Y O. What, what do you? What do I do after that? What's the next step? Oh, where, where else? I suppose O uh, two Islington. You probably got to go is, there. Is, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah, a lot, a lot, a lot of artists do there, and then obviously you've got the O two, which is oh, those are different. O two, yeah, it's, it's the same company, but the O two is where. Drake performs. Right, I want know. that. I want that. So I'm, I'm sure that will happen. Get, that's not the next step. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go there. Right. Let's fast let's forward. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's fast I'm, forward straight to there. That sounds so, cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so who is Saint John? I don't know if you can sum up nah, yourself in a sentence. That's a ridiculous question. Like, like absolutely not. No one could summarize who. Yeah, because no you've, got, you've got so themselves. many aspects to yourself. Yeah, I'm a 360 degree human being. So it's not an elevator pitch. It's yeah. not like yo, you should. That sounds like it would be on my dating profile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Date St. John because of silk, fur, moisturizer, yeah. creed. You know, it's not like that. <laughs> I'm a whole person. But I, th- I think that was one of the things that drew our attention. It was just the fact that your fashion, your music, you had such a variation in your music. Mm. And before you were steadily performing, I think you were writing a lot of songs for other people as well. Yeah, I used to write for people. Yeah, did I still you still write for you people? still write for people? Did yeah. you or do you enjoy that? process yeah i think so i think it's cool watching your dreams come to life in multiple ways yeah like sometimes you can bring them to life yourself and sometimes other people can bring them to life i didn't there was a point where uh, it wasn't something i wanted to do but now i have a little bit more i have a lot more control yeah how a lot it, more freedom uh, freedom is a touchy word <laughs> relative freedom yeah yeah so you were born in brooklyn yeah uh, but you spent a lot of time in guyana as well yeah uh what was that what was the was the what was the contrast like from the both parts i mean third world first world yeah it's extreme there's two worlds in between the two like literally it was was there a lot of lessons that you you learned in guyana yeah because i was growing up just this barefooted kid running around in the third world country like anybody else it yeah it was just super like really normal same thing in america but, you know, first world, I got greater opportunities here. Like, I could be poor in Guyana and it's, no, everybody is poor. Yeah. Everybody in the country is poor. That's what it feel like. America reminds you that you could have a little bit more. And, of course, you were signed uh, recently by Biggs, uh, who's, in fact, here today as well. Um, how did you guys connect? Oh, just a super organic way. We were at a fashion show. We were at a Pierre Moss fashion show. Shout out to Kirby. And I saw Biggs, and he was in the corner. Um, he was just taking a picture. I said, I went over there and introduced myself. We had mutual friends, so I was just telling him that, and we became fast friends. And then we got into business together. And what's what's it been like so far in terms of Biggs' experience? That must that must help you a lot. Yeah, it's, it's organic. Everything is organic. It has to be natural. It's The groundswell is the way it's supposed to be. Like, he's he's done this three times. He's yeah. lapped the globe a bunch. So it, it's a cheat code. Cheat code, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get to get the information directly. Yeah. I mean, we're still building something profound in the new world, but there's a lot more resources than before. And last week, the new single came out, uh, Trap with Lil Yeah, Baby. the video. The video for Trap just came out. That, did it drop today? No, nah, like two days ago. Two days ago? Yeah. But the actual single dropped on the anniversary of Reasonable Doubt. No, the video did. The video did. The video did, sorry. Yeah. The video did. Um, what's been the reaction? I mean, I see it's popping off. It's tremendous. Yeah. It's incredible to watch people have this type of reaction to a video. 
Um, like we thought it was good. Yeah. But the like the outcry for how good it is is really tr that's great. Like applaud me. Let me get some claps. I know, uh, guys. An applause. An applause. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I deserve an applause there. There we go. Um, you have spent some time in uh, Paris last week as well. Yeah, uh, Paris Fashion Week. How that was sounds, that? That sounds really exotic when you say it. You like you spend some. Where's your accent from? Where you uh, from? Scotland. Scotland. Yeah. No, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. No, no, you ain't gonna record me it's from Scotland. Yeah, yeah. That's not bad. That's right. not bad. I didn't do it right though. Hold on, I, gotta, <laughs> I need some practice. I'm a perfectionist. Let me come back. To you. Yeah, yeah. Take some time with the Scottish right, accent. Take some time. Yeah, yeah. Scotland. Uh, because I know you have uh, an appreciation for Braveheart as well, don't you? Yeah, yeah. William Wallace. William Wallace, yeah. AKA Mel Gibson. Oh, God. What, what is it you love about that movie? The movie is just passionate. It was the first time I felt something watching a movie. Yeah. When I, whatever that is, like you as a kid, the first time you have something has an impact on you. Sometimes niggas be like, that'd be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but for me it was Braveheart, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, and I was, I was like, oh, this is this feels real. It was a good movie. A good movies feel real. Yeah, apart from when the English killed him, you know that, that really hurt me. If he ain't dying in the movie, it wouldn't have been legendary. Yeah, right? who he just ha lives now? He lives up the block. Nobody wants to hear about William Wallace living <laughs> no. up the block. Yeah, he had to die. He had to die. Yeah. He's a, as a legend. And the new project, get a Lenny's love song. Yeah, indeed. Next so, collection. Yeah. Have you been recording music here? In I have. Yeah. And it's been good. It's been uh, fun. You must be working surely with some some UK artists. Oh yeah, yeah. Who do you think I would work with? Well, I saw you with Gigs and Tiny Gigs. Gigs. How you, who's that? You. I saw a photo with you and Gigs. <laughs> Gigs. Is that an exclusive? No. no. Oh, Gigs. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a great guy. That's the accent. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm fucking with you. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, yeah, he's super cool. So how do you know Gigs? Do you know him from a few years ago or recently? No, no, no. We just became recently became friends. And yeah. Tiny Tempo as well. Your friends with Tiny. Yeah, I got a lot of good friends. Yeah, a lot of good. So you're keeping tight lipped on that. Me? Oh, I'm just hanging out with my friends. Yeah, it's it's a good bunch. And um, you'll be back here in August performing at the Reading Festival. Yeah, Reading and Leeds, right? Yeah, that, that's going to be sick. BBC are those two One separate extra. things? Reading and uh, Leeds? Well, oh, they are Reading. connected. It's just two different uh, cities. So basically, Reading, I think, hosts more of the hip-hop artists, actually. Okay. And Leeds is more of the bands. What if I'm doing both? Am I... I believe you're doing Reading. I'm yeah, doing Reading. You're on the BBC One Extra stage. Okay, I'm doing Reading. Which Thank is, you for that. Which is going to be huge. Uh, so what's coming up for the rest of 2019? Because you're, you're a busy man. I'm a super... I mean, you don't want to see my calendar. Is it is it full, full? It's a little crazy. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's a little crazy. People ask all the time, like, where do I live? Because we're on the road all the time. Yeah. And they, they go, where do you live? And I say, I live in an airport. And then they think it sounds cool. Yeah. But it's not. I really live in an airport. All the flight attendants know us <laughs> <laughs> really well. All the baggage people know us really, really well. I'm on tour. We're on a world tour. I'm on a campaign. I want to be the world's president. You well, can vote for me. I, I say we do. We do vote for you. Thank you. You'll be better than your, your current president. Wow. Is that hard to do? No. But so you can, you we, can We've got me. faith in you, though. Thank you. It doesn't require a whole lot, but I'll take, <laughs> I'll take what I can get. Yeah, St. John, big up yourself. Uh, I'm glad we finally made this happen. Yeah. And we hope to see you back in London soon. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Thank you, guys. Big up yourself.